Hey, this is Attorney Elizabeth Potts Weinstein, and today we're going to talk about how to do the formal transfer of ownership of a trademark. If you own a trademark and you need to have someone else or some other business own the trademark or some other legal entity own the trademark, you actually have to file something through the Patent and Trademark Office. This commonly happens for my clients either because they're selling their business altogether or because when they started, they were just a sole proprietorship or general partnership, and now they have an LLC or corporation. In that case, you actually have to formally transfer the ownership of the trademark as an assignment. So how do you do that? Go to the website of the United States Patent and Trademark Office, and then under trademarks, you can, if you go to the apply online section, I know you're not applying for a trademark. It will have all the different forms that you need. And as the time that I'm recording this video, number nine is the assignment forms. This actually opens up an entirely different website called the ETAS, the Electronic Trademark Assignment System. This is where you're gonna file your assignment forms. Click on that and you get to this page that has incredibly tiny text, okay, um, that has the information about how this works. So let's go ahead and start this. There are a number of types of conveyances. Conveyance is just the fancy lawyer word for transferring ownership for selling something from one party to another. And by the way, you don't have to be selling it for money. It can be just you transferring it from your sole proprietorship to the LLC. There's no money involved which is the transfer of the asset in exchange for membership shares of the LLC. So most of the time you're gonna be doing this first one, which is just assignment of the entire interest and in goodwill involved with the trademark. Occasionally you're gonna be doing something else. So let's say you actually converted your sole proprietorship to an LLC three years ago and you didn't do this, okay? But really it transferred back then, so you wanna backdate it. How you backdate it is this. The, this assignment is now for then, now for then, which is you're doing the assignment paperwork now, but actually the transfer occurred in the past. So that's what you would click if you are trying to fix something that happened a while ago. All this merger and conversion stuff is if you have changed from an LLC in one state to an LLC in another state, or if you have converted from LLC to corporation, that kind of thing. Court orders, obviously, if there's a court order. Corrective assignment is if you messed it up the first time and you have to fix it. A lot of this other stuff is if the trademark is part of an estate of someone who's passed away or if you're using it as an asset, as a security interest against a loan. Most of the time, you're not going to be doing that kind of stuff. So let's just say we're doing the first one, the generic assignment of the entire interest in goodwill. You can do by the way, a bunch of trademarks at once. It's much more efficient. So if you have two, three, four, five trademarks, you can assign them all at the same time. But here we're assuming you just have one. So now we go to the next screen. By the way, as of the time of this recording, these little buttons are not in an intuitive place. Cancel is on the right. Next screen is on the most left. That makes no sense to me why they designed it that way, but I'm just warning you. So next screen. Now we're putting in the correspondence information. Correspondence is just who do they contact? It doesn't mean that you own it or that you're selling it or anything like that. It's just who is the person the trademark office is gonna contact if you screwed something up and they need to ask somebody about it. So here I'm gonna put myself. Oops. You wanna put in your email address so that way, because you're going to get the information back. Um, they really are in, the United States government is really into fax numbers. They're really into faxing things. Uh, many of you probably don't have a fax. I actually do have an e-fax account. So you can put in a fax number here. You don't actually have to, but the idea is if the email bounces, it's a way for them to contact you. And they're apparently going to do it by fax. Let's go to next screen. Conveying party. This is a person who currently owns the trademark and is going to transfer it to somebody else to give it as a gift, to sell it, whatever. So if you're a sole proprietor, this is you as an individual. If you have an LLC and the LLC is 
is um, being converted into something else, then it would be selling the business to somebody else would be that. So let's just say an individual, let's say it's me, Elizabeth Potts Weinstein. I don't have to put company necessarily because I'm doing the individual. My citizenship, I have to say where I'm at. So I'm in California, but if you were in a country that's outside the United States, you put their country. The date of execution, I'm just gonna to put today's date. And then you can add, you can have more than one conveying part, party. Let's say the trademark is currently owned by two people who created the business together and now they formed an LLC. So it'd be the two individuals who are transferring into the LLC. So add and go to the next screen. Well, a mistake that you can easily make is that the citizenship of an individual must be of the country type and the citizenship of a company is of the state type. So I messed that up. Receiving party, this is the person or business who is receiving the trademark. So they're going to be the new trademark owner. So let's say I'm transferring it to the, to my corporation. You see, which is a corporation and it is a citizen of California. If you have a DBA or something, you would enter that here. I don't have a DBA. Okay. That's who's receiving is my corporation. All right, now you have to put the serial number of the trademark. So this is a trademark I actually, trademark application that I filed personally a long time ago and it actually didn't go through, but it's one of mine. Now you have to attach the required legal document. So when you do a transfer of a trademark, when you sell or just transfer or gift, a trademark. It has to be done in writing. It can't be done just by people talking. So you have to create a document that does this assignment. It might be part of some other document or it might be freestanding. It's probably easier to do it freestanding since you're going to be filing it here and it's going to be a part of the public record. So typically it's just a, could be just one or two pages. You may want to have it notarized. You don't have to legally have it notarized for the trademark office, but that can be helpful with other countries is the short version of that. So you may want to go ahead and get it notarized. You can get things notarized for just like $10 or something like that at a UPS store or somewhere in your neighborhood. So let's say we're going to go ahead and attach a file here. Okay. I just, I just attached a blank <laughs> piece of paper, but you would want one that actually has something on it. So now you are all, now you are at the trademark assignment cover sheet. And this is where you're going to check and make sure all the information is correct. That you have the submission type, the nature of it, which kind category you're in, who it's coming from, who is getting it, which property we're going to be assigning, and then the document that you attached. Here you type in your signature and your name. I'm obviously not going to be doing that because this isn't a real assignment. Once you do that and you pay the fee to assign it, then you have to wait for them to process that paperwork. They're going to look and make sure that you filled everything out correctly. And if you did, they're going to put the assignment in the file for your trademark or trademark application. Right now it says that the trademark office Right now, the trademark office says that it is taking just a couple days to have assignments go through if they're done through the system. If it takes a lot longer, if you do it by fax or by paperwork, because a human being is going to have to type things into the forms for you. So if it's possible for you to do it using the online system, I highly recommend doing that. It'll go through faster and more. It's much more likely that it'll be correct. Again, this is attorney Elizabeth Potts Weinstein. If you have any questions about doing the assignment, for your trademark application or your trademark, feel free to go ahead and post them in the comments below and I'll try to point you in the right direction. Thumbs up if you found this helpful and subscribe if you like any more videos about trademarks, about LLCs, corporations, any of the stuff that small business owners and entrepreneurs need to handle when starting a business. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.